welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a really cool exclusive lot unboxing. First up here we have the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection bulkhead. So of course this is a direct repaint of the original Legacy Wave 1 bulkhead with a brand new accessory which could really mean maybe another brand new Transformers Prime breakdown which would be really really cool. So uh, let's take a look at the packaging. So here we have bulkhead in a really cool stance. So if you don't know the Wreck and Rule Collection it is five packs. I actually have two right now. I will be unboxing Twin Twist uh, uh, right after this. Also I will be unboxing the Buzzworthy one will be uh, Evil Predacon Pterosaur and very very soon I will be also be getting the Springer figure which is also part of this pack so stay tuned for that review and a boxing as well but the packaging and the artwork looks super super cool big arm here that has an Autobot symbol really cool mace and of course that brand new hammer which I think definitely means we will be getting a really cool breakdown Transformers Prime legacy figure of course the legacy logo the brand new Wreck and Rule collection uh, logo there on the side we have the uh, Decepticon legacy artwork so we have Megatron, Dragstrip, Guanus, Skywarp and Kickback and in the back we have the product shots, of course one is robot, one in his truck, and of course that brand new hammer, and he has a more military type deco, which actually looks very, very cool in my opinion. And on the other side we do have the Autobots, uh, Legacy Artworks, so we have Optimus, Hot Rod, uh, RC, Blaster, and Bulkhead himself. So really, really cool packaging, and I'm really looking forward to this accessory. As soon as I saw this figure, when it's revealed, I was thinking, yes, we are definitely going to be getting a breakdown, and I am really looking forward to that. So let's open him up, and I'll give you my first thoughts, then we'll move on to the next pack. So let me just go to the side here, just open him up, just like this, and we can take him out, and just slide him out like that, and there we have him. See, so he looks really cool. So if you're not aware with these packs, apparently there's supposed to be sort of a buildable cardboard cutout piece, and here it is. So, um, of course, this is one of the pieces, and there's five packs, so I'm assuming there'll be five pieces to make some sort of hammer, and there is this whole thing here. I'm assuming in the instruction booklet there'll be some certain way to construct uh, said hammer, so I'm just going to keep this, make sure I save this, and put that off to the side in a safe spot, because I probably will build it. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it with these figures, but I will build it just to see how it is. But, of course, we have his brand new hammer, his mace, and his really cool machine gun. And overall, he looks really cool. And I'm assuming on his back, which you have, of course, the instructions. And right under there, we have his really cool riot shield. So that looks super, super cool. So I'm going to take him out of the twisty ties and everything off to the side, and I'll give you my first impression. So here we have Bulkhead out of packaging. He actually looks really cool. And it's also really cool to see he does come with a lot of accessories. So this is just an unboxing video, so I won't be transforming or reviewing or anything, I'm just going to be giving my first impressions and quickly taking a look at the accessories and the figures. So of course he does come with that exact same mace that came with the original Legacy Wave 1 and of course the same blaster just now done in this nice dark kind of gray translucent, translucent plastic which looks pretty cool and the brand new really cool hammer which I think definitely spells out we will be getting a Transformers Prime Legacy breakdown that'd be really really cool to see and of course his same sculpted uh, riot shield which actually looks pretty cool with that now brown and black uh, military camo design which looks uh, very very cool and then of course we have the figure himself which is done in that same design and overall looks really cool definitely one of my favorite parts about this figure is um, the head sculpt I think it is slightly painted different and I think it looks super cool of course I don't have the Legacy Wave 1 version right now to compare it to but of course I'll bring that out a little bit later uh, of course in the review for this to compare but uh, just right now I think it is different I actually like the blue they use and the silver they use for the chin that actually looks really really good so overall looks pretty nice um, I really have no complaints of course it's the exact same sculpt as the Legacy Wavorn version just with that brand new hammer so I have no problems I thought the figure was pretty good so I will review this uh, figure very, very soon, and of course in that review I'll make several comparisons with this bulkhead figure, of course, one being the Legacy Wave 1 version to, to show, of course, all the similarities and differences, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Let's now move on to the next figure, which is the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Twin Twist. So here we have the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Twin Twist. This is actually a direct repaint of the original Titans Return version of this mold, which I actually do have, so I will bring that out, uh, of course, in the review 
you for this figure for comparison. And I really do hope they make the other repaint of this uh, figure topspin, which I also do have in the Tank Return line. So that'd be really cool to see the two old versions and the two new versions of these characters. That'd be really nice to see. So for the packaging, of course, we have a nice helicopter up there. That looks really cool. Some towers, most likely Cybertron. Really cool head there. We have the Legacy logo and, of course, Wreck and Roll Collection. His name on the side. A really cool shot of Twin Twist right there, which looks really nice with his blasters. On the side, the Decepticon Legacy artwork. On the very back, he does have a Titan Master, which transforms into one step, and definitely one of my favorite features of Titan Return. I'm super glad they kept this with this figure. You can store the Titan Master inside his really cool drill uh, vehicle mode, which looks super nice. He does come with the exact same accessories that came with the Titan Return version, which I'm perfectly fine with. And of course, two shots, one of the drill and robot mode. And on the side, the Autobot Legacy artwork. And that's pretty much it for the packaging. So let's now slide this figure out and I'll give you my first impressions. So let me just go to the side here, open up these flaps, and just take this guy out. Sometimes it can be a little stuck. Just yank this guy out. And there we go. Okay, so he is packaged definitely very differently. This is kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting this at all, actually. So let me put the other box up to the side. So we do have the instructions here, which are actually taped to the box. So I need to make sure to be careful with those. We also do have another piece of the hammer, which this time is actually uh, uh, colored. There's some lines there, some blue, which looks pretty nice. Very cool. I'll definitely keep that. So we have the instructions, and then we have the figure, which is actually very weirdly packaged, as you can see. So I'm going to take him out all of this stuff, and then I'll give you my first impressions. We do have a Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection Twin Twist, and he's actually a really cool looking figure. So he does come with uh, one slash two accessories. You can combine these two blasters or separate them and put them in his hands. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature that they did keep from Titan's Return. That's pretty nice. And of course, we have the figure himself, and I think he looks very, very cool. Overall, really did like this guy from Titan's Return, and really glad to have this figure now. And it'd be really cool to compare him with the other version. And I typically actually do have these little knee pad sections out on my other copy, um, but maybe I'll have them in. I don't know. But overall, looks very cool. Definitely very nice. Unfortunately, he's kind of hard to stand a little bit, but he might just need a little bit of repositioning. But overall, looks super cool. Again, I will have a review up here on the channel very, very soon with comparisons of the other versions of this mold, and of course, several legacy comparisons. And I'm really glad to have this guy. Let's now move on to the final figure of this big uh, collection unboxing video. We're going to move on to the Buzzworthy Bumblebee Evil Predacon Pterosaur. For the final unboxing here, we have the Transformers Legacy Buzzworthy Bumblebee Evil Predacon Pterosaur, which is a direct repaint of the Kingdom Golden Disc Collection uh, exclusive figure. So it's really nice. If you weren't able to get that figure, you can easily get this one at Target. So um, I actually got this for a pretty good deal on a different site, but um, definitely I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, the other Pterosaur figure from the Golden Disc Collection was not my favorite. I actually was a little bit disappointed. I'm hoping, um, hoping my main problem with the other figure was the joints. It was very loose, really, really loose on that copy so I'm hoping it improves. Overall the look of the previous version of this character was awesome and I really do love this deco here too. My hope is again that the joints will be much much tighter. So let's take a look at the packaging of course. The huge uh, dinosaur there on the front with his blaster that looks super cool with the Buzzworthy Bumblebee and the Evil Predacon text right there. We have Transformers on the side a nice view of the figure himself. We have RC, Mirage, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime at the very bottom. And at the back, here we have Pterosaur and, of course, uh, his robot and Pterodactyl mode, which looks very, very cool. He transforms into 22 steps. And on the side, we have a nice artwork of him with his blaster, which looks very, very nice. And that is pretty much it for the box. So let's now quickly take him out, and I'll give you my first impressions. So let me just go down here, slide him out. And it seems, unfortunately, his wing has actually popped off, which was a major problem with the last copy. But, of, of course, easily you can just pop that right back on. But here is Pterosaur, and he looks pretty cool. So I'm going to give him a shot. I don't think he'll be a huge improvement, but I'm hoping he won't be worse than the last figure. Overall, the deco-wise, he actually looks very cool. I'm assuming his blaster is stored somewhere. It's probably in that bag right there. 
But overall, that looks very cool. So I'm going to take them out of the twisty ties, and I'll give you my first impression. Here we have Pterosaur out of packaging, so I'm just going to quickly give you my first thoughts on this, then of course, the video will be over. So I do want to give a word of caution when you're opening the packaging. There will be a small little uh, kind of paper baggie that's taped to the box, and it will have the blaster and these two very small, tiny little blade pieces. I think they're extremely pointless and dumb, and I really I actually almost forgot they were included with this figure. They were also included with the previous Golden Disc Collection pack and they're very 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 tiny and uh, you do not want to lose them. I actually uh, almost lost them and dropped them on the floor so be ca very careful when opening it because they could burst out and you could lose them easily. Uh, you do just attach them to the arms. I think it's a very dumb accessory but I'm going to keep them anyway so you just really uh, plug them in right here which can actually be kind of a hard task because they're very tiny and they actually have very big hands but you just plug them in right here like that. And yeah, it does have a cool look to it with lots of spikes and angles to it. Looks nice, but his blaster actually looks pretty cool. And unfortunately, I was hoping his joints were going to be tighter. Overall, yes, they are with the wings, the arms, and everything else. I think it actually is a major improvement. My main uh, uh, problem with the last version was the feet. They're on ball joints, and of course, they're very, very loose. They're not as loose as my previous copy. They could actually, uh, the figure neck can actually stand my previous Golden Disc Collection figure could not even stand. It would typically fall back and forward. You really had to have it in a sweet spot, but this figure does stand a lot better, so I think overall this figure was improven where I really wanted it to be, but overall the deco-wise actually looks very, very nice. So I will do a review of him very, very soon. Most likely he'll be last to be reviewed because he is obviously the less interesting of the figures I've unboxed in this video today, so he'll be a little bit uh, of a wait, um, but I probably will review him as soon as I can. Um, most likely in that review I might skip over the transformation because I have I've done the transformation for this mold several times because, of course, this is a remold of the Air Razor mold, which I have, of course, also reviewed several times in several different repaints and remolds. So, um, kind of been there, done that with the transformation. It hasn't changed at all. But overall, a pretty cool figure that I do recommend to get. But that's pretty much it for this unboxing. So, of course, just to recap, I got the Pterosaur Buzzworthy Wombie, the two Legacy Wreck and Rule packs, the Twin Twist and Bulkhead figures, which actually look very cool, and I will review very, very soon over the channel. And again, I will be getting Springer very soon as well. Unfortunately, the other uh, final two packs of the um, uh, Wreckers I was not able to get early on Amazon, so maybe those will be a uh, little bit later, like November. That's what they still say right now for when they're supposed to come. But I also will be getting several other packs like uh, Motormaster and also the Creatures Collide pack. So look for those unboxing and reviews coming very soon. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you next